Hey guys, it's me Crystal from Marching North and today I'm going to show you how to make a punch needle pillow. Before we begin sewing, you'll want to have your punch needle piece steamed so it's flat and then you'll want to have the backing fabric and the punch needle piece pinned together with the right sides facing. Mark the spot where you're going to leave an opening to turn and stuff the pillow with a couple of pens. Make sure your sewing machine is loaded with thread that matches your fabric. I recommend using a zipper foot so you can get your stitch line really close to your punch needle loops. You're going to sew all the way around the pillow with a straight stitch. Try to keep your seam pretty straight and sew as close to the loops as you can without sewing into the loops. Do a back stitch at the beginning and end of your seam to make sure it stays nice and secure. When you reach a corner, make sure the needle is pressed down into the fabric, then you're going to flip the presser foot up and turn the whole project so you can continue sewing on the other side. Don't forget to put your presser foot back down before you start sewing again. At this point I realized it was easier to keep my seam straight if I sewed on the punch needle fabric side, so I flipped everything over. Once you get your seam completely sewn, clip your threads and it's time to move on to the next step. Before flipping the pillow right side out, we're going to cut this excess fabric off around the edges. First, cut the excess fabric on the corners on a diagonal. Then continue cutting the excess fabric around the sides. I probably left about a half inch border. I left the border a little wider here by the opening, just in case. I added some fray check to the edges of my monk's cloth just to keep it from unraveling. And I'm not sure if that's really necessary because it's going to be inside a pillow, but I just thought it was a good idea. Alright, now it's time to turn this bad boy inside out, or right side out rather. This part was a little difficult because the punch needle fabric is really thick with all that yarn and everything. So just take it a little bit at a time and don't rip your seams and don't accidentally pull any loops out of your punch needle project. This part of the video is sped up. I definitely don't recommend flipping it this violently. Once you finally get it flipped, go in and poke your corners out really good and check and see if you have any loops that got stuck in the seam like I do. To fix these loops that got stuck in the seam, I just really, really carefully went in and clipped the yarn just right next to the seam, making sure not to accidentally cut the fabric. And then I just pulled the excess yarn out of the seam. Now we're gonna add our stuffing. I use this polyfill that I've had laying around in my craft room forever. 
It even comes with this handy stick for poking. Just start putting handfuls of stuffing into the pillow and make sure you get it down into the corners really good. Make sure you put lots of stuffing in your pillow, like more than you would think you would need to put in there, because if you don't, you'll end up with a saggy pillow later. Also, make sure your filling is evenly dispersed so you don't end up with a lumpy pillow. Now our pillow's nice and stuffed, so it's time to sew up the opening. We'll be hand sewing it closed using a ladder stitch so the stitches aren't too obvious. I'm using an embroidery needle and a piece of doubled up matching thread with a knot tied at the end. Anchor your thread into the fabric like I'm doing here. Then you're going to catch just a little piece of the folded edge of the monk's cloth with a needle and pull it tight. Now you're going to take another stitch along the folded edge directly across from where your thread just came out. Continue doing this all the way across the opening and make sure to keep pulling your stitches tight as you go. Keep your stitches really small to prevent the seam from puckering. When you've finished your seam, tie off your thread by bringing the needle up in the middle of the seam and then pull the thread part of the way through and then you're gonna put the needle through the loop and then pull it tight. Do that twice. Last, we're going to poke the needle down into the seam close to where the knot is and then you're just gonna bring it out in a random spot on the back of the pillow. Pull on the thread a little bit so it's kinda tight and then trim it close to the fabric and then the end of the thread will just disappear into the pillow. Then I gave my pillow a nice massage to even out all the stuffing. Yay, your pillow is complete. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more crafty tutorials and DIYs. Thanks for watching.